Kia ora Year 12 and Year 11 and Year 13. This is another Building Blocks for Scholarship video. And this one's looking at a cool way that we can factorise the sum and difference of two cubes. So I'm going to start not by factorising, but by expanding. So let's suppose that we've got this expression, x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. Right, let's expand this and see what happens. So first I'm going to do x times everything. And I'm going to write it in x, y order each time, just to keep it clean. So x minus x squared y plus x, y squared. Now I'm going to go through and do the same thing with y times everything. So it's going to be plus x squared y minus x, y squared plus y cubed. Now let's have a look at what happens when I go to clean that up. Well, I've got minus x squared y plus x squared y. And I've got plus x squared y minus, sorry, plus xy squared minus xy squared. So the whole thing simplifies to give me x cubed plus y cubed. So let's see how that result looks, thinking about it the other way. Well, I've got x cubed plus y cubed is equal to a linear term, x plus y, and then a quadratic. Now we're going to see something similar for the difference of two cubes. And then I'm going to teach you a really cool way to remember this. Because you don't get given this on the formula sheet, but it can come up as a useful thing that will help you find a way into some harder problems. So let's take a look at what happens when I expand this expression. So working first with the x term, we get x cubed plus x squared y plus x y squared and so on. And now we're going to work through the y. So minus x squared y minus x y squared minus y cubed. And you can see again that we've got a plus x squared y minus an x squared y and a plus x y squared minus x y squared. So that leaves me with x cubed minus y cubed. Right, now let's see how we can remember those two things. So you're sitting there in your test or exam or on your desert island and you need to factorise the difference of two cubes. Or the sum of two cubes. And you can remember the following things. You know that there's going to be a linear term with an x and a y. And then there's going to be a quadratic thing with an x squared a y squared, and a mixed up x, y. Alright, so here's the way to remember it. For the difference of two cubes, it's going to be a minus, then it's going to be a plus, and then it's going to be a plus. And for this one, for the sum of two cubes, it's going to be a plus, then it's going to be a minus, and then it's going to be a plus. So I did that without looking, even though you can't tell, but I really did. And the way that I'm remembering it is this, that for the difference of two cubes, we start off and it's the same sign as what I've gotten here. Same. S for same. For the next sign, it's the opposite. And then I have my x, y. And for the last one, it's always positive. Let's just check, does that work when we're doing x cubed plus y cubed? Yes, it does. So it's the same sign, plus, and then it's x squared, opposite sign, minus, and the last one is always positive. So the way to remember how to factorise the difference or the sum of two cubes is this. Soap, same, sign opposite and the last one is always positive.